Welcome back, everybody. The inevitable happened. We have now Gemini for Home. So it's a completely new era for Google Home, as Google are calling it. And there are some nice, cool things besides a full redesign of the Google Home app that I'm going to feature in this video. Also, some nice AI features that, of course, are subscription-based that will allow you to use Gemini, right, your voice assistant, and interact in a very natural way way with your assistant so you don't need to speak commands like turn off the lights or let's say turn off the heating so it's going to be really like talking to a person and this of course is going to work with google cameras like the nest cam outdoor the nest cam indoor with all their doorbells and the speakers and the thermostats and displays and the streaming things that they have the chromecast so it's going to be really something mind-blowing as they say so meet jimmy now your new voice assistant all right, you can interact now with your home as if you're talking to a person. A new redesign app so that you can ask home, control your home in a brand new way. So you can describe what you want, you can automate or even ask to search your video at home history. I'm gonna share some things that I believe are very interesting and some of them remind me to One UI and specifically to the modes and routines and Bixby and stuff like that. Of course, security is fully emphasized here. Keep up with what's important with you with detailed AI descriptions AI notifications in your home brief. Now, it's interesting that Google are using brief, right? Because we have the now brief in Samsung and in One UI 8. And then, of course, there's going to be completely new hardware engineered for Gemini, 360 audio on the Google Home speaker, 2K video on the new Nest cameras and doorbells. You know, they are promising us the new amazing feature. But, okay, guys, let me first show you the new updated redesigned Google Home app that now not only looks cooler, but it has also some very nice new features. So the first tab here is your favorites. Now we have everything here really at our disposal. So you can totally use this with one finger. You can also reorder things, which I do believe is quite cool. So right now I can try to bring uh, my TV here and my family speaker here and I can press save and then I'm gonna get this new layout. You can edit this all the time that you want. And for example, right now, guys, I am playing some music from YouTube on my TV, right? And I have a Chromecast attached to it. And this is how it looks like. Now, I can control the volume, as you can see here. I can also tap the TV icon and either create a group or even decide to stop casting if I want so. And of course, you can always provide feedback to Google. Now, what happens when I click on the TV itself? I'm going to get even more menus. So again, I have the volume slider here, right? I can stop casting. I can click on open YouTube and open this on YouTube on my phone. And of course, I can even open a remote that, yeah, will allow me to do certain comments on my TV, sadly that's not available. I'm not sure why it's not working anyway. I think it was working the other day. Nevertheless, guys, the Google Home app now really has been supercharged. I can go inside my TV and start the ambient mode because I do have a Philips TV, you know, with ambient light. So this new tab is kind of cool. You can see here I have all my lightings that are grouped and I can try to either switch them all on and off. Again, this is really something that is handy. I do have also my uh, air purifier that is not connected right now. I do have here my vacuum cleaner, uh, but it's either out of range or it's run out of battery. Okay, also my yellow light is here. So practically I'm able to control everything from my main tab. This is the family room speaker. Again, you can cast audio, you can switch song if you want, right? This is the Google Assistant. When you click it, right, you can see it's gonna tell me use Gemini for voice experience. So now Google Home is fully integrated with the, the Gemini and you can forget about the Google Assistant. What happens when I click here? I'm able to log in other homes that I've set up. Of course, now I'm not in reach of those homes, but imagine here I could have all my cameras and doorbells and all my thermostats. And yeah, it's going to be the bright new AI feature, fully automated with everything. When you click on the device, you can see all the devices that you have in reach. My family speaker here, my TV, all right, and then some of the other devices that I've used. Let me now show you uh, something that I do believe is very, very interesting. And this is the new automation stuff. From here, guys, you're able to set up automation routines. And that's why I said that this kind of reminds me a lot to the old Bixby days and the Bixby routines and the molding routines we have now integrated in One UI 8 and in Samsung One UI. For example, bedtime, one started to actions. What is this thing here? When I click, all right, this is going to be like this. When I say to my assistant bedtime or good night, so imagine I start Gemini and I say, hey, you know, good night, it will 
offer some actions. It is going to ask me the alarm that it should set and it's gonna also try to play some nice slipping sounds, maybe white noise. Then I do have commuting home. Again, there is one starter to actions. So let's say I'm going home. I pull up my phone, I tell Jimmy and I am going home and it's gonna tell me about my commute home and it's going to play again some nice music. Then you have commuting to work. You have the good morning routine. That is one starter and you have five actions. So what happens when I pull out my phone and I say, hey, you know, good morning. It's gonna give me the weather. It's going to tell me about my commute. It's going to tell me about my calendar and what are my tasks. Good morning. All right, you see, it's now connecting to Google Home. It's perfect. It's giving me the weather. And by the way, guys, you need to connect the Google Home to the Gemini Assistant the first time you do so. It also gives me the route, which is actually, yeah, what Google Home promised to do uh, with this thing. So then you have the I am coming home. Notice that we have these things here called starters and actions. All right, so for example, let's choose that one, living home. I have one starter and zero actions, all right? So you can always create more starters. So at a specific time, or you can use sunrise or sunset or when an alarm is dismissed and you can modify this and then based on the starter guys you can create new actions now i want to see if um, we have more starters available so yeah it's all the time like this now it's kind of limited it's either a specific time or it's sunrise or sunset based during the time of the day and the other thing is when an alarm is dismissed but you can see that google home is trying to become Clever. And last but not least, guys, the next step is crazy. Sadly, I don't have anything to show you here, but imagine you have a camera or a doorbell and somebody's ringing at your door and you're not here. You're going to get all these uh, events now recorded in this activity tab. So honestly, I think that's a nice redesign. It fully aligns with Android 16 overall new layout with all these big buttons here that remember in QPR are going to be able to resize those buttons and it's going to look exactly the same as it looks here. I also do like the controls. The bars are very big. The design is very intuitive. It's very clean, very simple, very flat. I mean, we don't have like the liquid glass thing from iOS. That is cool, I guess, but it's a bit more complex. Everything here is just built for simplicity and is made in a way that it's just so easy to use, guys. So this is the new era. And remember, guys, with all these new Google Home devices that are specifically engineered for Gemini with this new AI era, right? You need to use the Google Home Premium, which means that it's going to be subscription based. So there are two options, I guess. You can use the Google AI Pro or the Google Auto subscription, but yeah, you need to pay a subscription. Right now, I'm not sure about the prices, but you're going to get this advantage to be able to talk to your Google devices as if you're talking to a human. This will allow for more natural, more fluid conversations. And if you are into the Google smart home ecosystem, maybe that's going to be a good thing. Well, I don't have any of these new devices like the new speaker and stuff like this. I'm just having Google Home up and I really hope that you have enjoyed this little tour. So even if you don't have all the new stuff like me, you're still going to be able to update to the new Google Home and then use the new favorite stuff, the new automation, all these activities. I really hope that this video was useful to you guys. Stay safe, VST over and bye.